Welcome to Chibuzo Math Physics. Uh, this exactly is what you have been looking for. Uh, a lot of people called me, they want a video on analytical geometry. I promise to bring a more video on analytical geometry. I have already done a video on uh, uh, equation of the hyperbola, equation of the ellipse, and all that. You know, when we deal with analytical geometry, it involves drawing and uh, uh, locating some point, and that's why I was waiting to uh, purchase the software that can allow allow me use uh, graphs, uh, softwares that uh, can help us draw some point, circles, and all that. But finally, we are here, and I hope you will like this video on analytical geometry or what others call coordinate geometry. Uh, let me take you through it. What exactly is analytical geometry? It is that branch of algebra in which the position of the point on the plane can be located using an ordered pair of numbers called as coordinate. Called as coordinate. That's exactly what we mean when we talk about analytical geometry. It gives us a position of a point on a plane, and this point can be located uh, using an ordered pair of numbers, and these numbers is what we call coordinate. Uh, this is also called coordinate geometry or even uh, Cartesian geometry. You know, in the X and Y axis, we have the, 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 the Cartesian plane. So it is also referred to as the Cartesian geometry. Analytical geometry is a contradiction to the synthetic geometry where there is no use of coordinate or even formulas. It is considered as a, a kind of axioms or even assumptions to solve problems. When we dive into it properly, you will understand why dealing with Cartesian uh, plane or Cartesian coordinate makes sense. Uh, so this particular analytical geometry helps us to visualize and see whether what we actually talk about abstractly make sense or not. So let me take you through this and uh, it is one of those uh, so, uh, unit uh, branch of mathematics that I so much love so much because it is not just about calculation, it is also about visualizing, drawing, trying to locate a point, trying to see if what you are talking about uh, really makes sense. So let us go through it. Equation of line and gradient. I want us to start with the equation of line and gradient. Uh, you know, basically, when we talk about equation of line and gradient, it refers us to uh, our previous knowledge where we talk about y is equal to mx plus c. But then uh, it go beyond the mx plus c. Here we are having an equation that uh, the point A has coordinate 11 and 2, and the point B has coordinate negative 1, negative 1. So we are to find the gradient of A to B. The gradient of these two points, the point A is 11, 2, and point B is negative 1, negative 2. So what is the, uh, the, the gradient of these two points, A and B? Number 2, hence, uh, or otherwise show that the line AB has this equation. The equation is already given x is equals to 4y, uh, x minus 4y is equals to 3. So all you are solving, you must arrive at this equation. Number 3 is that the line with equation 3x plus 5y will be equals to 26. And this equation intersects the line AB at the point C. Find the coordinate of, uh, uh, of C. And uh, you have been given total mark of 7. Uh, this uh, is actually a very good mark that you will not like to miss. So pay attention. Let me take you through what you were supposed to do. The gradient of A and B, remember A, the point A was 11 and 2. And point B was negative 1 and negative 1. So let 11 be our x1 and uh, 2 be our y1. So that we have x1 x2 as negative 1. So we take x1 from A and x2 from B. We take y1 from A and uh, y, y2 from 
uh, y1 from a and y2 from b so that uh, the gradient of a b we know that the gradient is represented by the change in y or, or all over change in x or dy divided by dx so you can have dy divided by dx or d represent change or you just simply write change the way i have done so that you have change in y divided by change in x and what is the change in uh, y we know that y2 was negative 1 and y1 was 2 so it is a uh, negative 1 negative 2 because uh, it is the, uh, the 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 change in y minus the change in uh, the change in y2 minus the change in y1 so y1 was negative y2 was negative 1 and y1 was 2 so it is negative 1 negative 2 now we go back to the change in x the change in x will also be given by uh, x2 minus x1 so x2 is negative 1 minus x1 which is 11 so this will give us uh, negative 3 uh, this will give us 3 and then in, uh, negative 3 negative 12 and if you put that in your calculator you will simply have uh, 3 uh, divided by 12 and that is 1 over 4 in quarter so the gradient of this equation is a quarter it is 1 over 4 and this is our first solution now the equation of the line AB the equation of the line AB, we know that A, the point in A, is 11 and 2. 11 represent x1 and 2 represent uh, y1. So we know to find this equation, we use y minus y1 to be m into x because we are using the equation y is equal to mx plus c. But now we have y minus y1 because we are using this particular a point first before we use uh, the point b because we have to use both of them in order to get the equation of the line so that we have uh, a quarter is who is our gradient m here represent the gradient so it is a quarter that we got previously so you simply substitute a quarter uh, into x minus x1 and our x1 is 11 so that we will have our y is 4 y1 is 4 we know that so that you have 4 into y minus 2 to give us x minus 11 so 4y will be 4y minus 8 will be x minus 1 now when we bring both of them together this will be 4y minus 8 when you cross this x into the side, it becomes negative, so that you end up with x plus 11 is equal to 0. Having this type of quadratic equation, we need to multiply with minus, so that we will have 4x minus x plus 3. 4x minus x plus 3. Now, remember what we did here, because we have 4x minus x uh, plus 3 to be equal to zero because we have done some little manipulation here uh, 8 and 11 is independent variable so when you do some uh, uh, simplification we end up with x minus 4y is equal to 3 because this negative 3 when it crosses over it becomes positive and this is uh, the equation of the line as we were given originally in the equation and our answer must be x minus 4y is equal to 3 good so finally now we need to uh, locate to find the coordinate c to find the coordinate c we simply need to use the equation that we got as uh, originally we had this equation x we have this equation x minus 4y is equal to 3 to be our equation 1 then we are going to use this 3x plus 5y equals to 26 to be our equation 2 because we were told that the line with this equation 
intersect the line AB at the point C. So we are to find the coordinate of that point C. So having said that, what we need to do, first of all, is just to have the equation 1 we got already, then the equation 2 which was given. Then if you look at this equation, the first equation, you see we have x. So we need to multiply both sides by x so that we have x multiplied by 3. We multiply 3 by both sides because we want to, we cannot have just x. So that this will give us 3 multiplied by x will give us 3x. 3 multiplied by negative 4 is negative 2fy. And 3 multiplied by 3 will give you 9. And this is our equation 3. Now we have to do some cancellation. We see now that we have in equation 1 and 2 we have 3x. Equation um, uh, 1 is 3x. Equation 2 is 3x because... The purpose of multiplying equation 1 with 3 is to make sure we have the same number uh, in both x's in equation 1 and 2. So these two now can cancel so that we are left with 5y is equal to 26, negative 12y is equal to 9. Then we have to apply these uh, sign symbols, negative, positive, negative. We distribute these signs so that here, we will have instead of negative here, it will become positive. That will be 5 plus 12, which might give us a 17. And also, this become negative instead of positive. That will be 26 uh, minus 9 also. I think it will also give us a 17. Let us see that. So this will be 17. Y is equal to 17. If we divide both sides, we have 17 by 17. So Y is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1 in equation 1. So x is equal to 4. We need to replace y. So and we got 1. So it is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 plus 4, which will give us 7. So the point of intersection will be 7 and 1. And this is the coordinate of c. So this is how we deal with the equation of the line, the gradient, and try to locate a point of intersection. I hope you have enjoyed this video on analytical geometry. Uh, for more questions, put it on the comment below, the section below, and uh, do well to subscribe if you are new to this channel. Don't forget to share the video. God bless you.